Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to upgrade your Lambda 1 VR installation on your Quest or Quest 2 headset, or even a newer Quest potentially, to HD. So, first few prerequisites you need a Quest headset, whatever that Quest headset is. You will need a Windows machine for this tutorial. We do a video for Linux and Mac as well. You will also need to have already installed and set up Lambda One VR. I've got a separate video, so feel free to check that out. I will put a link in the description to the Oculus playlist. It will be on there. And in that, I explain that you do need a, a copy of Half-Life as well. Steam is the easiest way to get hold of it. I show you in that video where to find it. So obviously make sure you've done all of that. This assumes you've got Lambda 1 VR set up. So first of all, if you go to where your Steam directory is, as you can see, I've got low disk space. I need to give you some games. For me, it's in D, games, Steam, and Steam apps, common. And if I scroll down to Half-Life, there we go. And we, in the setup video for Lambda 1 VR, we in copied over this Valve folder. We need to copy over the contents this time of the Valve HD folder into the Valve folder, not this Valve folder. So let's plug in our headset. Before we do that, let's launch up SideQuest. Again, I've got a separate video covering how to set up SideQuest. So feel free to check that out. And I'll cover you know, what type of cable to potentially use and all of that stuff. And sometimes I have issues where it doesn't work in the USB 3.0 port. Working in a 2.0 port if you do have one. I've got a pretty old case. It's like a 10 year old case. So we have 3.0 and 2.0 ports. Okay, so plug it in. It might say it needs authorization on the headset itself. If it does, just whack your headset on. Uh, it's asking me for uh, allow USB debugging. Allow. Allow access to data. Allow. Then you'll say allow USB debugging again allow and there we go okay so it's gone green fantastic we need to keep it plugged in go over to the folder icon this is where we set up xash which is you know the half-life assets go to the valve folder and in here is where we want to copy over copy over the contents of valve hd so if we literally just expand this you could do this without SideQuest through the Explorer. It's generally recommended to do it through SideQuest. It is faster. So if we copy over just that, you just drag and drop that. Um, saying the folder already exists. Did it actually even copy it over properly? Just have a look. I don't think you can override, can you? So yeah, we're going to have to forgot about that you're gonna, we're gonna have to go to this pc and find our quest to headset so in here go to xash go to valve and from here drag and drop these uh, my explorer has decided to you know just hold up we'll wait for it to respond it won't take long and just wait for this to respond now it happens sometimes when I'm going on to a new device via a new sort of method like Explorer, like this. So this device is just indexing it or picking stuff up. And it is just ignore what's popping over. That's just something else that I'm copying over, irrespective of this video. Okay, so drag this over. And already contains, say do this for all. So you just want to merge it. Click yes. You'll start copying stuff over. While this does that, what we want to now do is download because that's if you go into the lambda one vr website go to this how to get started it recommends doing that but there is one other thing that you can install called hd textures pack this isn't part of the half-life installation this is an optional hd texture pack and sound pack which is basically you know an extra mod and what you need to do is go to this link i'll provide a link to it in the in the description click the download button it will take you to Google Drive and just right click this bad boy, click download. I've already got it downloaded. So if you click download anyway, and I'm going to cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. Next thing you need is 7-zip 
and if you just download the 32-bit or 64-bit version and easy way to find out if you go to this PC system properties and if you go here if you say 64-bit OS you can have 64-bit or 32-bit if you say 32-bit x86 that 32-bit OS that means you can only have the 32-bit I recommend just going with it to one of the top two not the alpha so if you were to click that and I'm going to cancel it but if you just open up the executable so normal installation file install that and now what we need to do is actually go on to where, where we go where we go we need to go where we downloaded these files to so for me it's over here and I've got a few extra things that I can delete and right click this .7z file go to 7zip extract to hl gold and it will literally give us the location of where to install it so it says here extract the zip file to your pc copy the whole hl gold hd folder to your quest to the folder xash which we created in the previous video so it looks like quest xash and hl gold hd you can and it can take up to 45 minutes so hl gold hd so not this one in there this is the one we want so if you want to copy that and put it over here they said in the xash folder i believe let's have a look um, where did it say it it says uh, to your quest 2 xash what did it say uh, i've lost my train for you there we go so you just want it so you basically just want to go x again i'm losing my train of thought again i literally just read it xash so yeah quest xash right here in line with the val folder paste that and it can take a little while like i said depending on speed of your usb port etc etc so it's just something to bear in mind so it's saying about eight minutes remaining and actually let me try something let me just cancel this let me try a different port so i've tried the usb 2.0 port simply because of what's it called I just need to allow USB debugging and that on here. Allow debugging, allow access to data, then allow the debugging again. Okay, so our device should appear here. So I'll put in a USB 2.0 for a simple reason. I wanted better compatibility with SideQuest. So if I paste that now, hopefully in the USB 3.0 port, it does it a little faster but there's a lot of files obviously when there's a lot of files that can take a fair bit of time so okay it is a little bit faster while this copies over what we're going to do we need to copy we need to actually just edit this so right click that edit and if we go over to over here it says update in your command line.txt Find the command line.txt in your XAS folder, copy to the desktop in order to edit it. And apparently you can't edit it there, we'll find out. So you just want to copy this line right here. Copy that right there. And it also, it's also explained on this other link that if you using the HL Gold HD pack, you want to copy this line. If you are not, you basically want to copy this one. It's essentially all of it apart from the dash game hl gold hd and the, again this guy explained in detail which you know explains exactly what is happening so feel free to experiment with this you can lower the multi-sampling anti-aliasing you know increase or lower the gpu and you know you'll have different battery life you'll have different percentage uses and in general you, you could get more or less performance okay so if we go back to yeah let's see what happens so if i paste that save it and uh, it's not letting me save it so i'll just basically override it so if i just do command line.txt go to okay so it's not picking up the quest i'll just whack it on the desktop save it and now what we're going to do there's the folder if we go to desktop i'll copy that and I'll paste it here 
I want to copy and replace it. Now if I open this up, there we go. So uh, actually, sorry, we need to get rid of the dot at the end. Let's go to the full stop at the end. So let me, let me edit the one on the desktop. So get rid of that, save that. If you aren't adding the HL underscore gold underscore HD pack, then you would just have that. If you are adding it, then you would have this minus the full stop. So save that, close out this, copy that, go back, paste, replace. Um, it should pick up the new file. Catastrophic failure. That's funny. So I'll try pasting it again. Oh, I'll, I'll copy it afterwards. That's basically what you need to do. So obviously, as you can see, this is going to take a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do now is just i'll edit this part of the video out because it's going to take a fair bit of time so i will see you in a moment okay so the hl gold hd folder has copied over and we just need to make sure we have the command line txt here as well obviously that was just the thing that we were editing so just copy it onto your desktop put this line there you don't want this part of it if you're not putting the HL Gold HD experiments. So if you prefer it or not prefer it, because it's a separate folder, you can remove it or I guess rename it because <laughs> you won't access it then. And that's totally up to you. So now that that is done, because that's literally all you need to do to actually, you know, use the HL Gold. So it says right here, make sure you put this and it's about editing the whole TXT to look above is recommended as we have just done. So the next step is to launch the Lambda One VR on your headset. Go to the options and video and tick allow materials. Optional if you have, this is an important part. Optional if you have already played without the HD textures, you wanna use your old save games, copy your old save games from XASH, Valve, saves to HL Gold underscore HD, copy the whole folder. So that's just something to bear in mind. I have not, so that's not really an issue for me. So what I'm going to do now is exit that. I'm going to launch up Edge. Just launching up Edge. This is not a requirement for you just because the Oculus casting that allows me to show you what I'm going to see on the device. It doesn't seem to work for me on Chrome. Or it's a bit, it has issues. So I have a tendency to just use Edge for it. That's pretty much the only thing that I use Edge for. So let me whack the headset on. You can also at this point unplug it. And obviously you can walk around and do it standing. I'm just going to do it to sit in just to test it. Okay, so he wants me to create a guardian. Okay, that's all done. And we're going to go to sharing. Cast. Computer. Next. Okay, so we should get it coming up in a moment now. I'll leave the audio off. That's not that important at the moment. So there we go. So now what you want to do to launch it up, I showed you in the previous video, but I'll show you again. Go to apps. You'll probably have the other all. Go to unknown sources, Lambda One VR, launch that up. And you'll probably immediately notice that this background is different. So if you just want to play as is, feel free, because you can just use the that's using the Valve HD stuff. But if you want to actually use the materials go to allow materials and if we go to a new game go to medium doesn't really matter oh, oh. I need the other controller make sure we can still yeah, you can see what I'm seeing yeah so we got the better quality textures these do look better now obviously you know we're still going to be limited it is an old game and so there are limitations here but it still looks well better 
and there we go we have the hands and we can go around and play it So y'all can look around. This is this is just awesome. This is okay. I might actually not yet because I've got a few of the games to play. See that model looks better. Live stream the whole gameplay of Half Life One in VR. Might do that. It's been ages since I played the original Half Life as well. I was playing Black Mesa, but obviously it's a little different. And that's it. To pause it, just press the option button on here you can use this to control it go you can save it if you want to resume you can do some multiplayer and obviously feel free to go to configuration and disallow the materials as well so that is it that is it so let me just take this off okay so we have set up lambda one vr so it's been upgraded to the hd textures on your quest or quest 2 headset i'm using quest 2 really simple stuff make sure you do watch the previous video which covers how to set lambda one vr up and that's it i'm gonna have a bunch of other videos for doing this on mac and linux i'm gonna have videos for doom free quest which allows you to run doom free on your quest because obviously half-life is a late 90s game doom free is an old the old four game like it is that half-life 2 era that is that's the reason I'm so hoping we get a Half-Life 2 port. And that's the one that I really want. Half-Life 2, Episode 1, and an Episode 2 port as well. And was it Lost City? Lost City? Nah, I think that's what it's called, Lost City. Half-Life 2, the Lost L Lost Coast. That's it, Lost Coast. Which can be finished in probably like 5, 10 minutes for most, 10, 10, 15 minutes for most people. And... I'll be doing videos for how to do Return to Castle Wolfenstein on here, Quake 1 and 2, and a bunch of other stuff on different OSs as well. Because I know there are small differences in the OSs, and I know a lot of people out there that create videos like this will do the one. Assume you know what to do on the other ones, but if you're coming at it from new and you don't know, then it's a bit awkward. So this one will be the Windows one. I'll have a separate one for Mac, Linux, and for the other as well. So thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.